Kia ora whanau. We just had our second kahoe te ao e-commerce uh, Zoom hui with 270 of us. And our guest speaker tonight was a wahine from uh, America, native Indian indigenous woman, wahine tō ia. And it was mind-blowing. I know we're supposed to let it all sink in before we do our videos, but while it's still fresh in my mind, I wanted to have my korero about my... Um, my point of view on her corridor. So she come to us uh, tonight. It's the, currently Thanksgiving over there, and it was 11 p.m. when she started her corridor with us. Um, she is a entrepreneurial, wonderful woman full of knowledge. Um, at the young age of 33, and has accomplished so much. She told us a lot about herself, about her whenua about her people, about things that were passionate that she held close and how she has not been compromised from who she is, from the Indigenous side when she has approached business, that she has actually used it as a platform. Uh, she had so much corridor to share with us, so I wanted to share with you all some of the corridor that I actually um, resonated with. Um, not just myself, we had um, our chat room and our Zoom was blowing up tonight. It really, really grasped everyone's attention. And to have just finished the module on mindsets and to have someone come to us directly after that, that is just a growth mindset um, person, was awesome. So she explained to us that uh, she is an Indigenous um, Tanga Te Whenua of Turtle Island, which I learnt tonight, Turtle Island is the whole of North America. So um, we'll be doing some self-research after on that. I've been privileged enough in my life um, to have met um, and performed alongside some of the Indigenous people of America, our native Indian whanau. Um, and she also explained that she never knew that that's who she was until her grandmother passed, when her grandmother told her. Um, she is a woman in, in her own right, who stands in her mana, who speaks up for her people. She is currently a, uh, what they call over there, elementary school teacher, which is equivalent to our primary school teachers. And she's also an artist. She's also um, established herself in business and e-commerce as well and she has just blown my mind with all of the knowledge and and the sort of the wealth of knowing who you are and where you come from and using that as a platform to be able to not just make sales for the betterment of yourself but for the generation to come after you so if I go back to my why and my goal that I want to set up a Pākehi business and be the manager of this business and I have to set prices on certain things, on products, services, whatever it is, you, don't, you do not want to be in that mind frame where you think that you shouldn't be that person to do that, that you shouldn't be setting prices like that. You should also be thinking along the lines of how you are going to set this up for your future generation. So a lot of a lot of your korero, which um, if I'm allowed to, I will share on my page as well. Um, it, it was just so informative, so relatable, um, just to hear some of the stuff that her people went through and are currently still going through and all that momai, it, it kind of... Um, no, no, sorry, it didn't kind of, it resonated with us as Māori and probably many other Indigenous cultures out there. Um, she spoke about when the government had set up kura with urupa attached to them and to this day they are still finding um, children. So they had multiple children in one grave and it was a systematic diplomatic move set up to wipe out their nation, their people. And just to think that all of this sort of discrimination and things like that still happen to this day and have happened, um, you know, right back to our tipuna, 
that that as cultural indigenous people of our land that we were being pushed back and sort of made to either not survive or not make it. That's why I find this course um, really amazing. It pushes us as people, indigenous by indigenous, which which I really really love that Fakatoki when it when it comes up every time I, I log on to our people platform where we do our mahi. Um, so it was awesome, Kōrero, tonight. Um, I can't wait to um, learn more about this wahine. So Jace Mayer, you uh, can follow her. She's also under Jace Actually. Dot com. Um, we're going to suss out some of her mahi and hopefully get to have a more in-depth corridor with her so um, I can be better able to understand uh, from her perspective and her point of views how I would then interlock that with my point of views to help me push forward. So it was a really awesome session tonight, our kahao team. Uh, ngā mihi ki taku rōpū, so I'm in rōpū whitu, and uh, I will see you all on Thursday for our Ako Circle. So it was an awesome, awesome Zoom hui tonight, I really enjoyed it, I'm thriving, my cup is overflowing, and I have so much knowledge that I have gained, and just constant learning to do. So ngā mihi ki a kato, I'm halfway through Module 2, I've got a busy week coming up with my boys um, rugby tournament so I'm trying to push through my mahi tonight so that I don't have to um, time myself up so all about time management and just to learn once again I just want to touch on the fact that we learned about mindsets and then come into this hui tonight and actually we're able to see how it operates in a growth mindset that was awesome so thank you very much Jace. I really enjoyed your corridor tonight. Hope everyone enjoys the the rest of the evening and the week to come. Um, stay safe, Fano. Ngamihi kakato kato. Porado.